What is going on today guys? It is your boy the Game Workbench here and uh, today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to make a Gary's Mod server. So it's quite simple, it's not really much to do. Um, I've made many, many, very... I've made a lot of Gary's Mod servers, so... By the way, this is for the um, hosting at home. Now, if you want to get a dedicated host, there is an entire different process and you will not have to go through this. They automatically install everything for you and then you should be able to go um, into your settings and install DarkRP through there. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download something called Steam CMD. Now the link to this will be down in the description below, but it'll basically bring you to this website and then under here you're just gonna want to download Steam CMD for Windows now this is a Windows tutorial I will not be teaching you guys how to do it for Mac now in order to open up the Steam CMD zip I recommend using uh, a program such as WinRAR uh, because WinRAR is amazing and if you like WinZip then you like WinZip use WinZip but uh, anyways then what you want to do is go ahead and let's just move this over here real quick because you guys can't see my personal files um, I'm just going to create, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing. I'm creating a file on my D drive, which is my secondary drive, um, called Steam CMD. Uh, so, yeah. So, as you guys can see, we have this right here. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we are just going to extract this to here. Let's just pull it up. There we go. And now we can go ahead and close that. We can go ahead and close our browser, and we're fine for now. So what you want to do is double click this, run, and then it should pop up right here as uh, doing its thing. Now as you guys can see there is a bunch of files in here now. Uh, you don't have to really have this open anymore, you can go ahead and close it. So all we need is this. So now what you want to do is you want to log in. So what you're going to type in is login anonymous. A N O, if I can figure out how to spell it, A N O N Y M O U S. So it'll connect anonymously to Steam, uh, so you won't have to put in your username. But if that doesn't work, uh, you're just going to type in like login and then your username. Uh, th that's the username that you use to log into Steam, not your like uh, your name that you can change. But um, yeah, and then you'll have to go through the authentication process like you would always do. Now, what you want to do is you want to set the directory for uh, the Garage Mod Server to install. So I am just going to go ahead and open up my file explorer here. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new file or a new folder and I'm going to call it Gary's Mod uh -huh, Server. Honey. Oh, server. So now we got Gary's Mod Server here. We can go ahead and open it up. So now that we're here, uh, we can just kind of drag this to the other screen. We don't really need to look at it yet. Um, actually, we kind of do. But uh, now what you're going to type in is force underscore install underscore dir for stands for directory. And then you're going to want to put the file location. So mine would be d colon backslash Gary's mod server. Uh, now you can name the file whatever you want uh, you just have to find the file location which is as simple as clicking up here and looking at it um, I like to do it on my secondary drive because it is a terabyte drive so I have a lot of space on it by the way uh, Gary's mod servers they they take up about 15 20 gigs so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the uh, file location which is D colon backslash Gary's mod Oh, that's uh, make sure it's cap sensitive by the way I don't know if that actually is a thing but I think it is and then you just kind of want to press enter and if we look here it created a little file called steam apps and yeah so <laughs> if, if you see that pop up you know you did it right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're basically gonna install the uh, all the game files so we're gonna go app underscore update and then we're going to type in the game ID, which is 4020. 
so yeah just press enter and now you should get all of the files downloaded now this takes a little while so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip through the video here we'll be back alright guys so as you can see it is fully done downloading so now just to make sure that the entire installation is completed we are going to want to do app underscore update 4020 and then we're gonna type in validate just like that uh, now all these codes and everything they will all be in the description so you don't have to like worry about not getting them uh, so yeah uh, that won't take as long but it'll still take a little bit of time as you can see like a jump from 0 to 2 in like 2 seconds so uh, it also varies depending on your internet speeds and how packed the server is and all the other stuff so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let that download Alright guys, so now that it is fully installed, uh, we are going to go ahead and just close that. Uh, they can crash too. Um, so, now we have all of these files here. Uh, so now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your server config. And if there is none in here, then you're going to want to make one. Um, but we have ours right here. Uh, now. I have all the little uh, stuff written down here so if we just get rid of those tabs um, so here is the CFG maker uh, you can go ahead and fill it out but for right now I'm just going to put in the host name and the Archon password which are the only things required um, now you can generate it and I do believe all you need is these two lines right here but uh, we can just take the entire thing so there we go. Uh, now we'll just go here, paste it in, and press Control S, save it, and that is it. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to get the startup code, which I actually don't know what it is. So I will Google that, and I will be right back. All right, so uh, I got the code. Uh, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna right click, go to New and then go to text document and we're gonna name this start dot bat now right now the dot bat doesn't really do anything but we are going to make it do stuff so this little code it will also be in the description um, this basically just starts your server um, but now what you're gonna want to do is uh, for right now we're gonna leave this the same uh, but you can change your max players to whatever you believe your PC and your internet can handle I know mine can handle 20 just fine, so I'm just going to set it to 20, and we're going to leave it for GM flat grass just for now. Um, so yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to go to File, Save As, uh, name it. Uh, we'll just name it Launch dot that uh, just for something different. Then you want to change the Save As type to All Files. Uh, that'll basically allow for it to actually become a batch file instead of being a text file and that should save it as a batch file right here so we can go ahead and delete that right here and we can close this um, so now I believe that is it for now uh, so now what you're gonna want to do is port forward it so what you guys are going to want to do is press uh, the Windows button and R. And people are steam messaging me. Let's just turn that off. Now this will open up a little run prompt. And you just want to type in CMD and then press OK. Uh, and this will open up command prompt. Now what you want to type in is IP config. And this will open up a ton of IP addresses. Now what you want to look for is the default gateway. Uh, now this will basically allow you to connect to your router and that way you can um, you can basically uh, set up the port forwarding so now what you want to do is you want to open up Google Chrome or whatever browser you use I use Google Chrome because Google Chrome is amazing now the default value um, is generally 192.168.1.1 and then um, the default username and password is generally admin admin but we changed ours around just a little bit and uh, now I don't have every uh, router under the blue moon so uh, I won't know how to do yours exactly but 
it'll be something like WAN and then virtual port forwarding. You'll see something like that. So as you guys see here, I have two Rust servers. They can be deleted. Um, but if we go here, service name, we'll type in Gary's mod. Oh, Gary mod. Gary's mod. I can't type. And then port range is going to be 27015. And then the IP, the same IP that is your IPv4 address. So let me get that real quick. Now for my uh, router, I have this little drop down menu and it just lists the computers connected. Um, so yeah. Uh, now for the other port, uh, 27015. And it, that's just for both ports. And then you want to change the protocol to uh, both. Now if your router does not allow that, uh, you're gonna want to make two separate uh, services and just change one from or put one as TCP put one as UDP and you should be fine then we can go ahead and add it press apply it will save all the settings and uh, we should be good to go on launching our server so uh, just double click on launch.bat and then you're also gonna have this pop-up just press allow access um, and you're also gonna have this you can just ignore that but uh, this is our main game server so now uh, what you're gonna want to do is open up Gary's mod and I will teach you guys how to connect to that now alright guys so now that uh, we're in Gary's mod what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to connect to our server now uh, you can either connect via local host or you can connect um, with the actual IP now the actual IP what you're gonna want to do is go to um, just type in Google what's my IP or what is my IP and Google will give you your IP now this IP is the IP you're gonna want to give to your friends in order to hop on the server but um, we're not gonna be doing that just go to local network and it's right here but um, oh. uh, but yeah so we'll just connect in here and I will see you guys on the server by the way, the easiest way to connect would just be going to your local network, but uh, you may want to add the server to your favorites, uh, just so that you can connect to it easily. Alright, now that we are on the server, uh, as you can see, it is just a base uh, sandbox server, so there's not much we can do here. Um, it's just, just a normal sandbox server with nothing on it. Uh, and we're in the skybox here, floody wood. Um, so yeah all right guys I want to thank you guys very much for watching this tutorial on how to make a Gary's mod server um, if you want to see how to do a dark RP server uh, let me know down down in the comments below or let me know with a like or comment or subscribe or any of the above so yeah um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>